Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. What's this amazing Darwin glass found over a fair chunk of Western Tasmania got to do with this ghost town in Western Tasmania and this ecological disaster also in Western Tasmania? Hang around, we'll find out together. Well, here we are today. We're starting at Melbourne. Look at that, straight through Melbourne over Port Phillip Bay, straight out, heading across Bass Strait here because we're going to Tasmania. We're going to, we're just getting over, uh, it's past Smithton there, northern Tasmania. There goes Queenstown. We're just pulling in uh, and we're just coming down to have a look at the Darwin Impact Crater in Tasmania beautiful part of the world this there it is there if you can see it there's that round thing that's it it's not that old this it's only about seven hundred thousand years old it's been dated uh and uh yeah it's um quite eroded that a lot of rain in western tasmania and it's been uh, fairly filled up with gravel and whatever over the years quaternary gravel it's been punched through a sandstone massive uh so we'll uh, get into more about that but uh it's a pretty cool place um, let's have a look at just where it is in uh, Western Tasmania. So here we are, we're up there, that's Lake, um, Lake uh, Burberry. And the top there, we're zooming down here. And there it is there in the landscape. Um, is it easy to get to? No, it is not. Um, there it is, it's not particularly visible. I'm sure if you were there, you wouldn't even notice it. But it uh, is certainly very interesting. It's been proven, the geologists have been out there and uh, they've uh, been drilling, drilling some holes and they've drilled down and there's about 300 metres of gravel uh, in this thing. So it was a big hole and over the years the uh, rivers and whatever have filled it up with gravel. It's a lot more visible in the synthetic uh, lidar or hill shade they call it. It's really obvious here. You can see it there, its shape and whatever, and I've done a little close-up on that one as well. This is a colour synthetic that they have in Tasmania, it's lovely. But it gets kind of obvious when you see it there. So the, the river, the creeks have washed in and then they've washed out the other side and just filled it up. And it looks pretty good in uh, traditional hill shade as well. So uh, yeah, kudos to the Tasmanian government for having these resources on their sites, they're really good. Now the geology in this area Tasmanian geology is not for beginners, you hear me say that, but it's a really complex place. Um, but that light blue plain you see there is all marine quartzite sediment sandstone, which we come off it more obvious later on why that's important. Same thing, uh, what we're seeing here is the surface deposits. The previous one was the rock, this is the surface deposits. You can see the sandstone's visible and you can see where the crater is there because it's full of gravel. Pretty sure this is a gravimetric map. And uh, does it show it? Does it? I don't know. Maybe you need a little bit of faith, <laughs> but it wasn't particularly obvious, but that's probably where it is. Um, now, why, why, why are we even talking about this? Well, they built a railway from Mount Lyle, North Mount Lyle up north there, near um, Gormanston, right the way down now underneath Lake Burberry, uh, through uh, Crofty, through Darwin. We'll have a look at that in a minute. That's our ghost town. All the way down to um, uh, Kelly Basin, uh, in uh, Port Macquarie so they could get the minerals out in ships and uh, this is Darwin this town only existed for a few years and you can with the LIDAR you can still see its scar in the landscape there's Mount Darwin this is the town of Darwin and the crater wherein is called Darwin bit of a theme coming on here this is a view from uh, Mount Darwin around the turn of the century looking north so yeah there was a fair bit going on a lot of mineral exploration um, and this is Crofty, this is that place that's now underneath the lake. You can see the uh, terrain in the background there. Well, the water level's about up where that road is now, so she's all buried. Good riddance to it. And we talk about the ecological disaster. Well, this is Gormanton and Queenstown look the same. Copper mining and it just destroyed the countryside. 
It has recovered somewhat, but if you go there, you can still see where all this was. It's not good. Now, why are we here? Well, because when they were digging this railway line, they found this, and this is called Darwin Glass. And it's found over an area of about 400 square kilometers, and it's just a green glass. To me, it looks like tritonite, that stuff they find at the uh, nuclear test site, the Trinity test site, but it is a, um, a glass. Now, it's not volcanic, and uh, so how do you make glass? Well, you take marine sediment, sandstone, quartzite sandstone, and you hit it really, really hard. And here it is. Uh, and this stuff is definitely the source. Uh, the crater is definitely the source of this stuff. There are no shock cones visible. There are no um, uh, shattered quartz, but that's not unusual when it hits marine sediments. Uh, this stuff is not particularly precious. There's a lot of it out there. Uh, people mount it up as souvenirs and jewelry, etc., etc. So yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Um, let's. <laughs> well, I will go back to this map here because uh, a couple of friends I've been talking about said, "Oh, well, we could be able to track in." There's a track, and there is a track, and you can see it there coming into the crater. But uh, yeah, uh, a bloke from Tasmania, Rob Parsons, has done some videos in this area, and let me tell you, Tasmanian scrub is uh, another level of hard to walk through. So I'm going to run a bit of Rob's footage up here. Thank you very much, Rob, for uh, letting me do that. And uh, this stuff is really, really hard to get through. Uh, Tasmania has a reputation in that wilderness. Uh, the trees fall down, but they don't die, and they grow again, and you get this, like, organic barbed wire you have to walk through. That's actually a track. That's what the tracks look like. I hate think what the version bush looks like. Um, so yeah, Rob was doing a bit of trekking through there. But it is a beautiful place. Um, there's a lot of documentaries in this area uh, from people who've gone trekking because of Frenchman's Cap and all the lovely high country there. And it is beautiful. There is just no question of that. Look at this country. It's pretty, but you know, you got to get there. And there's no roads, really. Anyway, I thought it was interesting. I hope you found it interesting. Um, keep rocking. T-Rock's out.